This software saved my ass the other day, and I probably use it in a way none of the rest of you do. Every once in a while on this channel, I like to remix albums and try to make them sound better. My subscribers voted on the remix for Black Sabbath's Born Again, and I, I originally used Hit and Mix to separate the drums, the vocals, the guitars, and the bass. And things were going pretty well until the very end, and I realized that the drums were kind of not consistent from song to song, and I really wanted to be able to break them down, like get the individual parts snare bass drum toms you know disclaimer i am getting a free copy of this software but i'm not being told what to say in fact i'm the one who reached out to wave machine labs they didn't come to me so i realized this like late thursday night and the video was due 12 30 eastern time sunday that's when i released all my videos so i started downloading a bunch of different programs i needed to get done really quick just to run some trials to see how quick i could get it done and rebeat pro was the quickest one to get up and running this goes out to all the companies out there making products for people. So when you're designing a product, you better make sure the trial is something that can get up and running, make it as idiot proof as possible. I don't have time to mess around with it. In fact, that was part of the reason why I went with Repeat Pro. I was trying about three other products at the same time. I couldn't get it running. Repeat Bros. Bro. <laughs> Repeat Pro. What are you talking about, you idiot? Repeat Pro is the only one I got running really quickly without reading any instructions. It was all common sense, and that was a big factor in my decision. I just want to be able to get right to it and get the work done. Do it! Get it done! Okay, so there are two ways we can do this. I'm going to show you the way I normally don't do it first. But So I've got a clip here. We have this. All right, just a short clip here. I'm going to take is a VST and put it on the track itself. Now, you can't play it yet. What you have to do here is you have to like set it up to receive the signal, record it, however you want to say it. Then you press play. And it does it in real time too. So you do have to wait. Okay, now that we got it, it's gonna take a little bit of time to load up. This is also one of the reasons why I like to do the standalone version instead of the VST, but it's the same thing. Okay, now that we got that, we can play it back. And then we can select whatever we want. So the other is everything is the bass, everything except the drums. Mute it. Just a snare. It's probably be top, there's a snare right there. Turn up the volume. Down. Now this gate here is pretty nice. What you can do is you enable it. And if you hear any kind of, it's, it's, it's pretty clear. That's part of the reason why this takes a while is it, it's a really good extraction. But in case you wanna get rid of all the noise after, you can do that as well. Let me turn it off. And with the shaper, you can enable that. You can change the attack and the sustain of the hit. Or leave it as is. Now, one of the things in here I really like turn this off, um, is this Drumagog here. This is a different program, but it's kind of combined with this. And, and what can happen here is you can replace the kick or the snare. I'm gonna show you something here in the snare. There's something I've already done here. Now, just to be ridiculous, let me turn this on. And you can select, you got a bunch of samples here. Let's just, I'm just gonna grab anything. And then we'll play it with just the drums. Much different snare, right? Let's try. Way different. Let's go back to the original. This is the original. Now, what I, what I like here is now, this is a better, I even made my own um, sample, which I was surprised I could do. Now, it is, these are all what they're called GOG files or GOG files. Um, if you go in here, and I went all the way down here, I put, in, I went to the folder and put my own snare in there. This snare is actually from the same album on a different song. Now, I don't particularly like this snare. I think the one here is better, but you can select that and go back to the other one. You see how that was different there? If you go back and I just, you know, Let's get rid of this and you know sole it out and try it again. It's 
So same album there. That's 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 pretty interesting. So if you get Drummer GOG 5 that offers a lot more features with the GOG files, and then you can import your stems from Rebeat onto separate tracks in your DAW for you know further processing like the hi-hat and the ride and all that. Another advantage to having the drum agog software is in this situation I just can replace the snare with you know one sample. It's gonna be the same sample all the way through. That's gonna sound really robotic sounding. But with the drum agog software they got these dynamic group folders where you put variations of the same snare like maybe 10 different variations. Timbre might be a little different, the velocity is a little bit different and the program will randomly select them and throw them in there. So it sounds really natural like a real drummer's playing it. Yeah, the other way here is we're going to do, let's get rid of all this, is go to the standalone one. Now here's the standalone. It's a little bit different. It says load audio, export. Um, so let's, let's load the audio in here. Now the difference here is instead of you know, kind of doing that red button thing where it records and listens to it. You don't have to do that anymore. You just throw it in here and it's automatically going to extract it. Okay, so then we have it loaded up here in the standalone. You can play it. But you can export it. And I like this better because this is how I, this is personally how I like to do it. Export it. And we'll go to desktop. Put it inside of the prong stems here. Now there's no kind of, this threw me off in the beginning, it's not like a done or anything like that, it just does it automatically. So if we go into the prong stems, and then we have all of them right here. So, so then what I like to do is take this, take all these, and I'll put them all down here, and then have individual access to them. I can add more stuff on here if I want to. So then you can do, you know, whatever you want. You go to the hi-hat, one of my favorite plugins. Too much, but get the idea. If you wanted to. And you could manipulate it any way you want to. This is how I like to do it. And I can't wait for the future when I do some more of these, especially if I can do my absolute favorite album of all time. But I don't know if Atlantic will let me do it. I think it's on Atlantic because I'm pretty sure the Testament album, Souls of Black, that was on Atlantic too. And I'm wondering if that was the reason why half of it got taken down. So who knows?